Do you remember when I said to you guys that I'm surprised how people who are complete dickheads keep making it in life? And I think I went on that big rant about the fucking chili sauce guy, David Chang, suing all these small, um, you know, um, what you call it, um, chili, chili crunch, Asian small businesses. Yeah, I guess it's it's an Asian um condiment that they use on dishes, um, chili flakes with other crunch. I think um crispy garlic and other things in there. And um, David Chang is basically trying to trademark the term chili crunch, which is fucking obscene because it's a descriptive term for the thing they're sucking in a jar. And I said in the thing, it's like, it's funny that David Chang has been so successful because every time I see his name mentioned in the news or I just hear him speak, he sounds like a cunt. He sounds like a piece of shit. So I was wondering, maybe that whole adage that people have about, oh, you should be a nice guy um, or you should treat people nice on your way up because you might see them on your way down. Maybe all those sayings is cap. Maybe actually the truth to life is actually having a bit of cunt in you, having a bit of piece of shit in you actually will help you go a long way in life. Actually, that's the actual truth about it. And where's evidence of it? Adam 22. He's proof of it. Look at this fucking clip and look at how unnecessarily rude this guy is. And think about how if you'd be able to get away with this in real life, if he wasn't paying these two young men to sit with him on a couch and do a podcast, do you think you'd be able to talk to people like this? Basketball, they had the most popular, hey, we popular all have players. Guys, that was the big three. We have though. to take turns talking here. because this wasn't the most popular. Nothing. Don't Only do Chris Bosh, okay. though. Okay. Don't, do don't do that. Don't do that. We can't all just talk at the same time, oh, okay? Go, go like, ahead. this is ridiculous. The difference between basketball and music... You say he's got in front of him and he's waving his hands. Like, who, who are you waving your hands in front of? As if he wants to, like... As if he went to click his fingers and say, shut up. Look, what is this? Don't do that. We can't go all on. just talk... Don't do that. We can't go all on. just talk... Don't do that. We can't go all on. just talk... What the fuck is he doing? Don't do that. Was we he, can't all just talk... hands on his hey. mouth. Don't do that. We and I think this is a weird power play. It's a weird power play in that he says it a lot of time with like bad, the, the term bad podcasting, right? It's dumb as well because I don't even know what he's talking about when he says bad podcasting. Bad podcasting effectively just means he doesn't have enough time to talk. He feels like he needs more time to talk uninterrupted. That's what bad podcasting is. People are not allowing him to speak uninterrupted um, for a prolonged period of time. But this whole bad podcasting thing he does when people are talking is almost like a little bit of a, of a control thing. It's like when you're saying something or you're saying or you speak, you know, telling a story to your friend and they are overly trying to correct your grammar or ask you unnecessary details to kind of derail you. Why? Right? It almost was like a control thing. Like, okay, we're not going to, I'm not going to let you get your shit off. I'm going to keep interrupting and then kind of put you off. And then eventually you're going to hurry up the story and move on because you're, you're getting annoyed that I keep interrupting you. I think that's the case. Cause who does this shit? Imagine like, why can't you just come in? Like, what, what is this? Like putting your hands up in front of people. Like, who, who are you? You want to slap people's hands like like, and he could only get away with doing this because he's paying them, but also because he's been you know very successful in his field, so he's seen a certain way. But you can tell this guy's a cock. You can tell that he's never ever actually faced the consequences of his actions in terms of being punched in the face for being disrespectful. Because what the fuck are you doing? Why are you waving your hands in the air to me? Like, am I a dickhead? Do you know what I mean? Like, am I a dickhead? Please let me know. Am I a fucking dickhead? Because what the fuck is this? Because it's not even that bad. They're having a little conversation here beside them, but let them finish. And then when they finish talking, be like, hey, but by the way, guys, let, let's try not to like keep, let's not do like side conversations. Let's try and include a call con so for the show. Da, da, da. It's not that difficult. You don't have to do this. But nothing. Only do Chris Bash, though. Do don't do that. Hey, touched him. Don't do that. Hey, what we the fuck is that? What are you doing? Honestly, man, I absolutely hate this shit.